Good morning everybody, welcome to another vlog with Evolve. Sorry we couldn't record anything yesterday, we had a little bit of a really intense day. I don't think I'm gonna be doing too much on Mondays. Mondays is usually when we come back from the event and we have to kind of just put everything back together and, and it's just, there's really not that much to record. But today, we have a really, really amazing day. Today is our very first prenatal, is it prenatal? I don't know if it's called prenatal, but it's our first doctor's appointment since we found out that Natasha's pregnant. We're gonna bring you along for the entire ride. Today you're not gonna see too much of business. Today it's more than anything about my wife and our baby. Check it out. Baba. What? No. How angry will you be? I'll be so pissed. From a scale of one to five. Like five. You're gonna be in the vlog. No. Give me the camera. No. Let me see. Let me see. You look beautiful. All right, guys, so today is March 1st. We are going to our first prenatal visit. It's at Holy Cross OBGYN. Oh, is it? Yeah, I it's like it. five minutes away. Um, hopefully, we'll get to see our little blueberry of a baby. Ah. Um, we'll finally know how many weeks I am. All right, well, I'm freaking out, but we're <laughs> gonna take you guys for the ride. Yeah, you guys will be there on the way. So that way, other moms and moms to be and people who are like me will know what exactly happens. At I have a question. Visit. Okay. <laughs> what were you saying? Nothing. <laughs> I have a question. Are there any other future dads that freak out before the first? Is it called prenatal? Yes, it's called prenatal visit. That makes no sense. I know. I know it doesn't make any sense. I mean, I guess you're natal when you have your baby. I'm going to call it the first natal visit. It's not a natal visit. Well, I don't care. I'm still going to call it a needle visit. of next level brujeria. <laughs> and here we go everybody. We're off to the doctor. Our very first meeting, not meeting, appointment. So used to working all the day. You think they'll tell us if it's a boy or a girl? No, you don't find that out until like 12 weeks. 12 weeks? Yeah. How many weeks do you have? Well, I'm technically seven. I mean, I'm not, I don't know, seven, but I'm not sure. If I have seven weeks. weeks. They'll let us know in about five weeks. But I guess uh, I'm freaking out. I'm really nervous. We'll see what happens. All right, so we decided to actually just get a few books. Holy shit. There we go. So. <laughs> That's just here. <laughs> yeah. The little baby screaming. That's what we have coming for us. That's exactly what we have coming for us. So I opened the door for this fucking asshole. He didn't even go through the door that I opened. 
So we're gonna get a couple books just for the babies because we have no idea what the fuck we're doing. Alright, where's the baby section? Hey, look, look. Let's look at that shit. That's what we have coming for us. <laughs> Are you sure you wanna do this? Are you sure you wanna do this? Hey, I see stairs. I just push you down the stairs. Right here. I'll be falling down for Call eternity. It <laughs> Is there a book about like dad with with horrible anxiety, borderline personality? <laughs> what? What's a book about me? About me? <laughs> yeah. I don't have personality disorder. In adolescence. Yes, somebody has to come up with a book about dads with anxiety, about pregnancy. I will buy that one. So for some reason, every time I come here for a book, I always end up in the same section. Success. Success! We found two books. What books, bro? We found From Dude to Dad, That's right. the diaper dude guide to pregnancy. Yeah! And then we found Shit, the shit no one tells you. I will tell you guys all about it as we're reading it. We'll let you guys know if it's actually something helpful or if it's just complete shit. Exercise my right. <laughs> so in the middle of the thing, like the doctor just comes at me out of nowhere, and she sees the big camera that I'm carrying, and she goes, "I just want to let you know that we are not gonna be vlogged upon." She was very specific about what I can and can't do. One thing that she specifically said that I cannot do is actually vlog the uh, delivery. So I guess we're gonna get. An, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to give the camera to like. I guess my brother or AJ or somebody. That's when I, for a second there though, I was like, we need to get another doctor. But then when she came in, she was actually really nice and she was very reassuring about everything. So I think we're gonna stick with her. We're just not going to be vlogging the delivery. Sorry, and everybody was dying to see it. I don't know what it is that in, I don't know if it's in Florida, but they don't allow cameras. Like, they don't allow us to record, like, when she's getting her ultrasound and all that stuff. That sucks. Right? Doesn't that suck that we can't record it? But anyway, screw it. The big news is, it's six weeks and one day. And there it is. Yay, congratulations. Mm, I'm pregnant. She's pregnant. And I'm going to be a dad. And I'm super excited, and it's gonna be awesome. And of course, right now she's hungry, so we're gonna eat. I'll see you guys later. A few moments later, we took like a four hour nap because we couldn't sleep last night with the anxiety for the doctor's appointment today. At least I couldn't sleep last night. Um, so now we're gonna go buy road blood. So now we're gonna go buy groceries. Let me just take a second to warn everybody out there whose wife or girlfriend is pregnant, get ready for her to just be cranky and just pissed off for no reason at all. Just wake up in a bad mood and just just hate you for just no fucking reason whatsoever. <laughs> See what I mean? Just out of nowhere. Thank you guys very much for coming along for the ride today. As always, remember that whatever is getting in the way of your success is nothing but an excuse and we don't have time for excuses. As always, please remember that if you have a goal in mind, you have to stop whatever you're doing that is getting in the way of you achieving your success. Go get it done now, 
figure out whatever you have to figure out. All the information in the world is literally in the rectangle that you're looking at right now. The hardest step is the first one, but once you take that first step, everything kind of falls into place. Trust me, take the first step, go get it done now. And like I always say, keep evolving, always make yourself better. We'll see you guys tomorrow.